Hey guys, King of Charmanders here, and now I am here to bring you the news about the uh, the oh so sophisticated and amazing Great League Remix. I don't sound very excited, that's because I'm not very excited. Honestly, it's a really, uh, it's whatever. You know what? Okay, so here's the thing. The Great League Remix will run along the Great League. So it's not going to be available right away. After the first half of the season's over, as you see here, it's going to come back with Great League. So the second time Great League comes back in Season 7, you're going to have Great League and Great League Remix. It's going to be two weeks long. It's going to run along with regular Great League. So if you scroll down here in a nutshell, what it is is it blocks the... It, well, it bans the 10 most used Pokemon in Great League. Which is... That's cool. But there's a reason why it's not cool. Because I've already analyzed it, I've already looked at it beforehand, and there's a reason why it's not cool. But basically, two weeks long, again, second half of Season 7, and the top 10 will be bad. They're going to share the list on March 15th, so near the, I'm guessing when the cup is about to start, they'll share the list. So this can modify at any given time, but you can pretty much gauge what the meta will be like based off of using the custom rankings for pvpoke.com. Alright, so here's the custom rankings for the Great League Remix. Now, obviously, this isn't set in stone. This just draws data from the previous Great League, which is, which was, I collected from YTX Pikachu. If you don't follow him, his Twitter, I put it in the link below on the description. If you want to see data, and data is important, lets you see a lot of patterns, etc. I use it all the time. Follow him on Twitter, and he posts a bunch of data sets that you could see. You could see a bunch of patterns, the most used mods, etc. So from the data he collected that active battlers have contributed to obviously this doesn't include inactive battlers so basically people that come in basically players that go into go battle league and they just like battle it out to like meme or whatever that this data also includes their battles as well so that being said i have no idea how the 10s actually going to put out because if someone doesn't use this in real and they like for some odd reason the most used Pokemon happens to be like a Charmander, then no, but nobody knows, okay? Like I said, it doesn't consider a lot of the battlers like that aren't super active on Go Battle League or Reaching Legend like a lot of you that are listening to me right now or me myself. Anyways, as you see here, as you see, we have the custom rankings for Great League. So with this, I'm going to, you could do, any of you can do this. It's a great tool. You plug in Great League, you plug in the species. These are the 10 most used based off the data from YTX is gathering, the data he gathered. You put the two shields and then you hit simulate. And it spits out this really cool little data, like this cool little uh, custom meta that you could have. And this is how we're going to gauge the Great League remix. Obviously, things are subject to change. However, this thing will generally stay the same. You want to know why? Because, guess what? Where you ban the top 10, a lot of the top 10 also stops like Charmers, etc. So guess what? When you hatch it out, this is what you get. So as you see here in the 2-shield, this is a 2-shield scenario. So this is the custom 2-shield. So this assumes the lead. As you see, the number one lead is Scrafty. Scrafty is able to punch a lot of things down. As you see, look, Tongue XL, beat a lot of fires, etc. With things like, if, if Toxicroak is considered in this as well, then you it's, there's a lot, like, Scrafty is very powerful in a condensed meta because Counter Foul Play and Power Up Punch are very, very strong. Also, Metacham XL is, if Metacham XL has been used in Moch, which I've seen a lot, and is in that ban list, then you can probably bank that you won't see Metacham XL as the number one. Otherwise, it would definitely take number one as a fighter. As you see, what else takes this kid the cake? Dragon Breath users, fast move damage. You take out Galarian Pancake and you take out Bastiodon, well, that pretty much frees up Dragon Breath users and Charmers from running wild. That's why Wigglytuff, Togekiss, Clefable, Whimsicott, Dragon Breath users all all in the top in the two shield. The two shield charm strat will be insanely powerful during this cup. So you either have to have, you have to have something that beats it. Because like I said, if people, if Bastiodon is banned, does happen to be banned, guess what? Charmers will run rampant, along with Galarian Stumpus, because you can probably bank both of them will be banned. So lots of charm damage here or even shadow razor leaf because if you look at the rankings over here victory bell actually would rank pretty pretty decently high as you see number 30 because not a lot of things that can stop it so yeah 
Again, yeah, it's going to suck really hard, unfortunately. So that's, yeah, this is the two shield. As you see, a bunch of the top is basically charmers, fighters, dragon breath users. Obviously, these aren't, these are like, I don't think Matt PV Pokes going to actually put out a custom ranking set for this until like they actually like say which ones are banned. But you can generally bank that these strategies, fast move strategies will be very, very safe in this meta. As you see, two shield strategy will be very viable. Here's the one shield. It takes a little bit for it to load because it the custom rankings load everything. It'll load every single most Pokemon. So I usually will, will just clip everything because it takes a while. I guess it takes a while. Anyways, in the one shield, Scrafty still takes number one. As you see here, it's gonna it's still very, very powerful just because it's ability to ramp a power punch and its ability to foul play. It's all it's very powerful in a like in a kind of a bad meta where just well fighters in general. As you see, fighters do take the one shield matchups pretty handily. If you don't encounter Charmers, that is. But as you see, Deoxys defense is very good in the one shield. Deoxys defense will be a powerful save switch. Basically, all the powerful save switches that you see that aren't... That's why top 10 is kind of bleh. Well, I'll go over that later. You know what? Let's just go over the one shield. As you see the one shield, you see a lot of fighters. You'll see Dragon Breath users. As long as they're shields, these Pokemon will be very powerful. But this is where fighters can shine as well. Because they take out a lot of the normal typings. Things like Vigoroth, other safe switches like Diggers B will also be very powerful in, as safe switches because of the absence of Azumarill and the absence of basically assuming that like things like Obama Snow are in there, but I don't foresee it. But like Nolan Ninetales will also be down as well. You'll probably you may or may not see Politoed, so Diggers B can still like do some damage. As you see, it does really good work against a variety of typings, and Diggers B XL is obscenely thick. It's very bulky, very bulky. Other things that dominate the top 10, Lickitung XL, Cresselia, just things with obscene amounts of bulk. Also, Shadow Dragonite and other Dragon Breath users like Zwilus at number 3, just because of the Dragon Breath damage is super oppressive. Charmers lose their ability in the 2 shield strat. Like, if you lose shields, it's not very viable. Not to say they still don't destroy a lot of things. As you see, Wigglytuff is still ranked number 14. Still does really, really good. Still really powerful. And even Wobbuffet. So, like I said, Dragon Breath users, fast damage, fast heavy damage is still very viable in the 1 shield. All right, and now we have the closers. So generally, what's the most powerful closers are going to be Wild Charge users. As you see, Electivire Shadow will rock your world in the Great League Remix. It's very unlikely Electivire Shadow will not be banned. The only issue is, is that probably a lot... You probably don't have one. I have one, but yeah. Wild Charge users basically will end your life. And Electivire is even in the number one in the other Great League. The only reason you don't see it a lot is because you see a lot of Electric... Well... It's because of Pancakes and Bastion, which is basically why. But as you see here, it does a lot of work. It basically nukes most of everything to oblivion in any limited cup that basically bet, let, yeah, pretty much any limited cup. As you see, Shadow Champ also takes it. So there's a, so you can kind of put your fighter in the back and run over the top 10. But again, this assumes that the, the, that this assumes the current, like, st stature of banning top 10. As you see here, Reggie Ice, Deoxys Defense, Surfetch, other things are very powerful in the Great in the Great League Remix. Reggie Rocket, Reggie Steel make, a, make their debut, as well as powerful psychic types like Deoxys Defense, as well as Shadow Me Too. So as you see, not too much difference between the ones and the zeros. So it's a very, very not too great. As far as like the meta goes, like I said, fast move damage is still very relevant. However, things that are very tanky. Or just deal an obscene amount of damage in a short amount of time that charge really quickly like Machamp and Electivire are going to run over this meta. So there's not much of a difference to be honest with you. So honestly like if as you see here there's not a lot there's really not a lot you can do with this. There's not a lot you can do. If they ban the top 20, it would be a lot more interesting, or even top 30, so the 30 most used. Then you could be really spicy and we'd have a lot of fun, but unfortunately, this is what we got. Unfortunately, even if you do ban the top 10 that are mostly used, there's still a whole bunch of mons to, that you can use. The good thing is they're testing specific bans, so who knows, maybe one of these days we'll finally get to pick our own bans. I think that's a system that, other, well, other MOBAs follow a ban system that you get to choose one, so then we'll see if, like, what happens. But other than that, we'll take a look later. But in all honesty, this really doesn't change much. Again, the Great League is going to run along with Great League Remix, so you don't have to even play Great League Remix. If I were you and you're more used to Open Great League, I would rather just do Open Great League because there's not much of a difference between Remix and Great League. 
We, even if you don't, like, top 10 isn't much different compared, like I said, you need to ban more, you would need to ban more patterns. Because there's still a lot of good stuff you can make, as you see here, without the top 10 Pokemon based off of YTX's data. So there's still a lot of great Pokemon you can use. So it's still not a healthy meta, it's still not great. Some things that are really overpowered that may happen to fall out of the tree can still get banned. For example, if Umbreon doesn't get banned, then the whole fight, it's pretty simplistic. For example, if Umbreon isn't banned, guess what, you're gonna see a bunch of fighters and charmers you're gonna see a bunch of charmers because guess what beats umbreon fighters etc charmers will run it over if you don't ban if this is for if somehow sableye isn't banned let's say sableye isn't banned guess what sableye is gonna like basically gonna be the most powerful city switch since sliced spread in this meta so a lot of things are gonna be very powerful in this meta despite the fact you ban 10 10 is really small you need to ban more other than that, like I said, you don't have to battle in this one. You can just do regular Great League. I'll be doing analysis as it gets closer to March 15th. That's when they'll finally release the data. But once March 15th runs around, I'll go ahead and do a full download and we'll see what we can do for the Great League remix. Other than that, as you see here, these standing, these will generally be the same. Charmers will, and Fast and Bounding will be incredibly relevant in the Great League remix. And also fighters slash other archetypes. So... Look forward to it. If you don't really want to mess with the meta and just run regular Great League, again, it'll, it'll be available as well. Good luck and go Battle League sets. Season 7 starts in about a week, so I'll be doing more. I'll be doing. I'll be focusing more on the Retro Cup than the actual Great League remix, because like I said, until I have the rankings, I really can't dissect. But it's basically going to be exactly like Open Great League. Just take out the top 10 most popular mods. It's not that great, so we'll see what happens. Good luck on your Go Battle League sets, and I'll see you guys on the next video.